In the previous video, I showed you how to add bank accounts to QuickBooks Online, including how to connect a bank account using a feed from QuickBooks Online to your current account, savings account, whatever it is, so that QuickBooks Online can download those transactions from your bank account to QuickBooks Online. Now, carrying on from where we left off, we're now going to look at the rules section. If you've joined this video here though, watch the previous video at least. Even better, go back to the beginning of this course and start from the beginning because these videos are created in order. So as mentioned in the previous video, the rules section allows you to create rules that tells QuickBooks Online what to do with the data that it's downloaded because it's going to download these transactions from a bank account and it will not know what to do with those transactions. It doesn't know what are expenses, what are sales, what expenses they are, what sales they are. So we have to create rules to tell QuickBooks Online what to do with those transactions. It's not imperative that you create rules, but to make the automated process even better, to make things even more automated, then it's best to create rules for as many transactions as you can because QuickBooks Online will then handle those transactions for you, post them to the accounts for you, making things automated for you. So on the rules tab here, we can create new rules. There's a drop down list here. There's also this new rule button. And what we simply do is tell QuickBooks Online what to do when specific transactions meet specific criteria. So as an example, let's say we have a software expense go out every month, which is for Adobe. So what we want to tell QuickBooks Online to do is when it sees that Adobe transaction is to post that to the software expense account. It will not do that for you unless there is a rule telling QuickBooks Online that it needs to do it for you. So let's call this rule our Adobe software rule. Okay, so Adobe software, it applies to money out. You can also choose money in. If this applies to money out, you then select the bank account. I don't have any bank accounts currently connected to QuickBooks Online, so there's no bank account to select. So the rule is that it's money out and includes all of the following all being all the conditions we list here. Currently there's one condition showing. You can add as many conditions as you want. If you don't want the criteria to be all but any, then select any of the conditions below. But for most rules, it's going to be all of below. So this condition that we're going to have is the description to contain Adobe. So the bank transaction doesn't matter what the amount is, if the description says Adobe, then that transaction will fall under this rule and it will be assigned to the expense account, the category we would put in software, choose the software expense account. And then there are a couple more options here with the payee. So if this was a sale, we would put in the customer here. If this was a payment to a supplier. We could choose the supply here. And then there's an option for tags and we'll come back to tags later on in this course. So as this rule currently stands, it's our Adobe software rule. It's money out. If there's any transaction that has Adobe in the description, it will be posted to the expense software. I haven't entered software, but software category. If we're happy with that, we would then click save and that rule will be in place. So whenever there is a transaction downloaded from the bank through the bank feed that has Adobe in the transaction description, it will be posted to expense software. And you would need rules for as many transactions as you can. So perhaps you always buy fuel from BP. So you could call this your BP rule. It's going to be money out. The description could be BP. So any transaction that has BP in the description will be assigned to an expense. In here, you could put in traveling expenses or something like that. 
um, or fuel, motor expenses, whatever is the most relevant. Once you're happy, click save. You can obviously have rules for money in as well. The transaction type is not going to be an expense. It's going to be a deposit or a transfer. And the more data and more accounts you have on QuickBooks Online, the more transaction types could show here. Just one final thing to mention is the raw criteria doesn't have to be a description. It could be a specific amount or bank text. And you can also have multiple descriptions. So it might be that you don't just want the description to be BP, but you might also want the value to be £10 or $10. You need to create the rules that are specific for your business because every business is different. But ideally, you would have a list of rules that would show on this list here. You can then edit those rules, delete those rules, view those rules, but those rules would automate QuickBooks Online for you with the bank feed. So with the bank feed and with the set of rules in place, everything should be automated, or at least most transactions should be automated.